Hello there, welcome back to uh, another drive along here in lovely Guernsey in the Channel Islands. We are on the east side of the island heading towards Morrison's at Lille. So welcome along to the drive. If you've been here before, welcome back. You'll be familiar with the drives. And if you're new here, it's all about life living in Guernsey and uh, I'm going to talk you through the driving and show you what it's like to drive here. This road is 25 miles per hour, the maximum speed limit. I've got a feeling this bike's about to turn in front of me. I just had a feeling in my water. You know, sometimes you get that feeling someone's going to turn and um, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. We'll find out. Now, I, I know not to speed down this road. He is turning because I got caught for speeding down here. 25 miles per hour it's very easy to break and I had a lapse concentration I was in a rush next minute a cop has stood in front of me or oh, sorry a police officer has stood in front of me with his hand out pulling me in but he was all right about it I didn't go off the road just had a bit of a telling off and I'd take my license and insurance and maybe some other stuff at the police station and they just told me to slow down speed limit is back to 35 miles per hour and we're heading north. So uh, if you've ever driven in Guernsey, let me know. What have you encountered that's different to driving other places in the world? You may say the filter and turn system, which uh, is very common. I'm gonna do a whole video on the filter and turn system soon. But the filter and turn system, everyone has equal priority. It's a bit like, looks like a box junction and you filter in one after another depending who gets there first. They work very well if you know how to use them. If you don't know how to use a filter and turn system they work terribly. Normally with a crash. So a bit of traffic um, and not too bad though we've still got the roadworks around here. So if you've ever been to the Morrisons at Lille let me know. It used to be something else years ago or is it Stampers? I don't know. So, um, I hope everyone's had a nice few bank holidays at the time of filming. We had the Jubilee holiday, didn't we? Thursday and Friday off. And there's some nice cars in Guernsey, and you just got to be careful because the roads are small. And we've got some traffic lights here. Someone's put the Guernsey flag on the hedge there, see on the right. The problem with driving in Guernsey, as I've mentioned a lot, is the cyclists. Um, the island's not designed for cyclists. We haven't got cycle paths, or not many. So you can be stopped behind cyclists for a long time. They can cause huge delays. And it's not the cyclists' fault. Uh, we just haven't got sort of big enough roads, and it's very difficult to overtake bikes. But um, as I say, I'm not blaming the cyclists because it's good to get out, but it can be a problem with tr with delays. But, you know, hopefully we'll get cycle paths, more cycle paths in the island. There's cycle paths along the east coast, like along the front of town. They're really good. But the problem is, I just think we haven't maybe got the room uh, on the roads for, this, for the cycle paths. Because as you can see, the roads are very narrow. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It just can be problems now and again. But we, you know, that's how it is. Now we're heading on straight, we're at the four cross and we are going to turn left. You can see, look, they're saying about the road closures here. So I hope everyone's doing all right. And, um, you know, plenty more of these drive-alongs coming along. I, if you've got any suggestions or where you want me to drive, let me know. I've done quite a few around the north end of the island. There's, there's quite a lot of other places as well, but if you want me to go a bit further away other parts of the island or anywhere in particular you want to see on the drive along let me know but I also do walk alongs as well remember it's not all driving I can walk somewhere and show you a certain area you like if you want to I don't mind I do whatever you want to do because uh, I like making these but if you give me ideas it's always good so I'm in the Ford Transit um, as well which is a transit van. 
So I'm, I'm set the camera's a little bit higher than a normal car would be. A bit more view, better views. And uh, Guernsey's just doing really well at the moment. There's a lot of cruise ships back in the island, which is great to see St. Peter Port, which is the capital of Guernsey, busy. Uh, we've got quite a lot of cruise ships scheduled in for the season. First time for years, obviously, with everything that's, everything that's been going on. I mean, you sort of thought you'd never see it busy again. It was, you know, getting pretty miserable. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, look at the traffic here because of the road. The uh, Red Land Crest is closed. So we've got a Marks and Spencers on the left. Can you see the sign there? That's the closest one to my house, so I go there a lot. The speed limit's 25 again. You'll see the speed limit jumps around all the time. 25 zone, 35 zone, 25 zone, 35 zone. Which is good because um, slow as the traffic down around built up areas, so that, you know it's worth, it's definitely worth changing your speeds. Um, but to be honest with you, the the police are really quite good on catching people that are breaking the speed limit in Guernsey. They do do regular speed traps where they stand with a, a gun in their hand. And when I say a gun, I don't mean a gun that shoots bullets. I mean a, <laughs> a radar gun, should I say. And obviously, you know, they do it in the slow zones, 25 zones and the 35. But I think they tend to do it in the slower speed zones. So you've got to be careful. Right, we're coming up to Morrison's Lee Lay on the right. And there's a nice surf shop in front. Right in front, can you see? Freedom Surf Shop. That used to be a butcher's. I remember when I was young, that was a butcher's. I'm sure it was a butcher's. Let me know. Let me know if I'm talking complete rubbish. That just come in my head. I'm sure it used to be a butcher's. Right, returning to Morrison's. So this is Morrison's here. It used to be Stampers, I think. And I'm going in to do my shopping. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That would be very nice of you. Subscribe if you want to see more on Guernsey. And until the next time, take care. See you again soon.